If you've been searching on Twitter, you've probably seen this little tweet going around. Consensus, the company that owns MetaMask, just updated its privacy policy that they are collecting your IP addresses and your ETH addresses. And most people in DeFi use MetaMask. In fact, that is basically the default cryptocurrency wallet for a lot of these DeFi protocols, and it has the most amount of users. However, a lot of people are getting confused and misunderstanding what they should do with this alert. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can protect yourself and still stay anonymous in the crypto space. All right, so first, let's show you a little more details on this tweet. As you can see here, this is talking about the RPC provider in Fura. MetaMask does not need to be connected to the internet to function. In fact, if you're just operating your device without internet, you can actually access MetaMask, but the balances won't be up to date. As in your address just recently received some airdrop tokens or the price of your favorite cryptocurrency has been going up or down, the prices won't update till it connects to the internet. So the first step is changing your RPC provider. As you can see here, this is a default MetaMask account. Just when you create it, your RPC URL automatically defaults to Infura. There's a simple way to change these RPCs, or you can simply just get another wallet. Again, MetaMask is the most used wallet in DeFi, so there are some protocols that may have not adopted another wallet besides MetaMask. So to get to this page, it's actually very easy to do. You click on your MetaMask icon, and you have a couple of options. So as you can see here, when you get to the MetaMask, click this triple dot menu, go to expand view, and then it will open up an expanded view of MetaMask. You can then get to the page I was showing you by clicking this drop down here and clicking add a network. Once you add this network, it'll give you the different networks that you are already using, and you can either delete or add networks from here. Simply just click on the different networks and you hit delete. But as you can see here, if you go on Robston, it has Infura as the default. If you go on Ethereum, it also has the Infura network as default. Infura is where they are going to be tracking your ETH addresses as well as your IP information. So you simply just change this RPC URL. So now the easiest way to get a new RPC URL is to go to Chainless. Chainless has a list of several different URLs you can get. Now, unfortunately with Ethereum network on MetaMask, you can't simply just copy the URL and paste it into here. It will not let you edit the RPC. However, what you can do is you simply click add a network. I have two different browsers open so I can go back and forth and copy and paste and I'll add a network manually. I will say ETH network, whatever. So yeah, that was wrong and then I will paste in my new RPC URL. Going back to the original uh, network, I get the chain ID as one and ETH. So I'll save this and I'll go over to the second browser, chain ID is one, symbol is ETH, and then I would go under the block explorer URL, which is etherscan.io. All right, so now that we inputted all that data, you literally just hit save and bada boom, you have ETH network or whatever you want to call it. I mean, you could have called it anything, but it'll show up right under Ethereum. Now, make sure whenever you're connected to Ethereum or any D app, you're connected to ETH network and not Ethereum mainnet. Remember on MetaMask, it defaults to Infura, especially for Ethereum mainnet. And you can't simply just change this URL. In fact, it's locked. As you can see here, it's got a lock symbol next to it. You can't do anything about it. Now, going back to the RPCs, you can pick any one of these that you want. Now, it's interesting that Pocket Network pops up right here. This is also going to open the floodgates, in my opinion, to other node services like Pocket Network or even other wallets like Trust Wallet, XDFi, just to name a few. Now, your second option is taking into mind that it's tracking the IP addresses. So here's another tweet by Joseph Lubin. Not really sure who, I'm just kidding. Uh, this guy was one of the co-founders of Ethereum. He is actually behind Consensus, which is basically the team who developed MetaMask. And you can see here, they talk about MetaMask being developed by them. But you can clearly see here in his third tweet, MetaMask does not collect IP addresses. There's a lot of FUDs being spread around on Twitter by people looking in and saying, oh, it's by MetaMask. No, it's the RPC. MetaMask is run on your device. 
So once you download that, that's on your computer. So it's an app on your device that runs without the internet. The RPC is where it makes connections. And this photo gives a better understanding of a RPC. RPC stands for Remote Procedure Call. An RPC can be best understood as like your cell phone provider. This can be something like Verizon, AT&T, etc. Once you buy a cell phone and it doesn't have any access to the internet or any of the networking companies, it's literally just a device and a cell phone that is just a cell phone. However, once you get with one of the networks like Verizon, AT&T, etc., that's where your data is shared. Your text messages, your voice calls, that stuff is not private. That's actually owned by Verizon or your cell phone provider. And this same concept applies to MetaMask. MetaMask is your cell phone, the RPCs are your network providers. So simply just changing your RPC is one solution. Now, the second solution is simply just doing what you're doing, but getting a VPN. A VPN will obfuscate your IP address and your location. However, regardless of if you have a different RPC or not, I always recommend using a VPN. NordVPN, they have a special going on. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can get this special. But NordVPN works good and you get three months free. Why not? If you don't like it, just cancel it. And simply the third option is just getting a new wallet. You can get the Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, the Brave Wallet. There's so many different wallets. And if you want to know how to transfer wallets, it's as simple as just taking your private keys and putting them in the new wallet. If you're uncomfortable with that, all you got to do is open up a new address and send those funds from that wallet to that wallet. Or if you have a ledger, just like MetaMask has this option where you can connect a hardware wallet and upload your address to the MetaMask, you can do the same with other wallets like Trust Wallet and XD5. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, three ways you can protect yourself. First, changing the RPCs. Second, getting a VPN. Third, just completely changing the wallets. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 13, verses two. From the fruit of their lips, people enjoy good things, but the unfaithful have the appetite for violence. Be good, be righteous, be nice. Peace.